I want to take you through the practical side of testing a ring final. First things first, we need to set our tester to ohms, put our leads together, and auto null. Once we've done this, our first stage is testing our light conductors. So one, and then we record the reading. In this instance, it's 0.05. Then, do it for the blues. And again, 0.05, which is good, because they're the same size conductors. So we're expecting on a circuit that's good to have the same size reading. And once again, we record them. Finally, we test our errors. Now there's a calculation for working out what your errors should be. They should be 1.75 higher than what the readings we got for N to N and L to N. And in this instance, it's 0.08. So any of you that's good at maths should be able to work out that that's about right. For the next part of the test, we're going to call our two parts of our ring main, incoming and outgoing, A and B, whatever takes your fancy, whatever your poison is, whatever helps you understand what I'm trying to tell you. And we get our live of A with our neutral of B and put it in a connector block. And we get our live of B with our neutral of A and put that in a connector block. And once we've done that, for this part of the test requires a socket in C, and these particular leads, if you go and ask Dave, I'm sure he'll sort you out. And once again, because we've changed our leads, the resistance of them has changed, so we need to auto null them, and we do that by putting them in there, and then once again, pressing the test button, and when the symbol appears on our tester, we're auto nulled. Happy days. We go between live and neutral in our socket and C, plug it into our ring main, record the reading. Plug it into our ring main, record the reading. And we're expecting these two to be the same because they're both on the ring. And as we test our spur, we're expecting that to be significantly higher because of the cross-sectional area of the cable. And we record the reading. The test we've just carried out is R1 to Rn. The next test we're carrying out is R1 plus R2. And we repeat the same system that we've just employed. We use Live A with Earth B or CPC, Line B with CPC A. Put them in a connector block and once again, test every point of our circuit. And once again we're expecting these two to be a similar reading and our spur to be significantly higher. And a good way of checking whether our readings are correct is to do a quick calculation. When we're doing R1, R2, it's our live to live plus our CPC to CPC divided by four. And that should indicate the readings we get when we test these. And it's the same with R1 and Rn. It's live to live plus neutral to neutral divided by four. And that will indicate to us what a good reading on the sockets are.